have you ever thought that you wanted to say one thing and you're getting ready and maybe you're making a video or you go, okay, I'm going to do this. And then as soon as you start, it changes and something comes through you that's completely different than that you thought you're going to do. I say this in regards to the truth of one's expression or when you finally get in touch with communicating your truth. Sometimes you don't know what your truth is. You don't know what you're going to say. You just start speaking in front of the camera and you just sort of see what happens. And as a assignment or a, a, a suggestion, if this is going to be the start of the uh, training program for level one facilitators and planetary guardians, because that is what this course is, you have to come to terms with speaking your truth and getting to the point where you can talk to a camera by yourself, nobody else. Like this is my personal space. There's no one here with me. I'm speaking into a camera and there's no audience. I may be thinking of an audience, but in general, it's just like me alone in a room speaking to a camera, but knowing there's going to be an audience. This is very different. Like before I was born, you know, this stuff didn't exist because the technology didn't exist. But now human beings have the ability to speak into a laptop or a phone, record ourselves and post it. This is something that did not exist when I was growing up. So this is like a technological advancement. You have to take into account that like in our, in our lifetime, we watch technological advancements that before it was impossible and now it's possible. So for the people born today, there's this sense of possibility or it's just obvious that you can just speak into the phone and pop it onto the net. But the people who didn't have that possibility you know, we're different because of that technological, but their disadvantage. We've never had the chance, let's say, to go, okay, if I had a studio, what would I say? Because when I was growing up, there were different times where I went, I'd like to have a TV show. I want to do a TV show. And I couldn't. You had to get permission. You had to have the money. There's all these reasons why something couldn't happen. But now I can do a TV show. This is a TV show. So the reason I'm saying this as a facilitator, as a, if you want to learn what I'm about to teach is one of the most important things is you have to learn how to speak your truth without fear. And that's the tough one. You see in normal school systems, at least when I was growing up, if you're going to speak in front of the class, that was a very fearful experience. I did not want to speak in front of this whole class of kids with a T like it was just a, a horrible situation. And most of us have this fear. We don't want to speak. So we couldn't just go up there and start talking about what we thought about life or what we, we thought about anything. We, we, I mean, people did and I did in whatever sense, but I'm just saying like, when you get to a certain age where you get to the certain capacity where you realize, okay, this is me speaking my truth. I've done that because I, I spoke to a phone over and over and over again and then watch myself. Like it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a huge experience, you know, say, you know, make 10 two minute videos and watch them and put them on the net, you know, come up with 10 subjects and speak your truth about them. You know, you are going to encounter your fear. You're going to encounter your fear of seeing yourself and you're going to encounter your fear of being seen by others. And in terms of communication, and that's why I think at the very beginning at the start of this course, I want to get to that because fear is what stops us from expressing who we are. And sometimes fear is a good idea. <laughs> like sometimes we don't want to express who we are 
you don't want to kind of do a ballet dance in the middle, middle of a Hell's Angel bar because all of a sudden all these people may beat you up or throw you out or spit you out, whatever it is. There's certain contexts or situations you don't want to beat you. You want to kind of like fit in or get out of there or whatever it is. So fear can be good. But, you know, if we're looking at, okay, if I'm in a room by myself, there's nobody in here and nobody's going to watch me. You're, you're putting the amount of things that can scare you down to a small little thing because you're, you're containing the experience. So if you talk to your phone and you say, again, talk, come up with, write down 10 topics and then do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, and then watch it. Watch yourself. Now you think that might be egocentric, or you might think, well, what, what are you talking about? Well, the assignment is for you to accept yourself. Because until you accept yourself, until you watch yourself, you can't really put yourself out there. And what happens with all of these people who are stars or artists or comedians or whoever they are, at some point they've learned to watch themselves and go, hey, that's pretty good, or that's okay, or that's funny, or I like me. You have to love yourself. If you don't love yourself, oh my God, like you can't do it. And so in order to communicate, you have to come to terms with your own blocks about being seen and seeing the other. So this is assignment number one. I would like you to make 10 videos and each has a different topic and then you are to watch these videos and then you make a video about what happened to you during that experience. What did you learn? Why do you think it was a good experience? Why do you think it was a bad experience? And then send me that video and that's the beginning of the course. If you send me that video, we can start interacting in terms of some sort of teaching student relationship. If anyone wants to learn what I, I have to teach, I'm going to do it in a series of videos like this. And each video, you're going to have to do something. And a lot of times it may be overcoming a fear or doing something which you might not necessarily want to do. And the only way to progress in the course is to do it. So I think this is the way I'm going to start teaching. And so Lindsay, who is the student number one, is this is your assignment. And for anyone else following, uh, you're going to be following Lindsay because she is the first student in the School of Conscious Communication who said, I want to learn what you want to teach. And so this is dedicated to her. And thank you, Lindsay, for uh, actually deciding that I have something to teach. I've been waiting for anyone to really want to learn what I have. I think I have a lot to give, but if someone doesn't really ask. I don't really want to 